I'm back and I'm excited to make this video for you guys. Uh, I'm on a highway right now, about to hit so much traffic. One thing I realized though, average, I would say somewhere around 16 ish, 15 ish miles per gallon. Obviously, you guys clicked on this video because you've seen the title. We're here to make the BMW faster. It's not really a power adding kind of uh, modification, it's to help the car breathe and to keep it cool. I bought an intercooler, guys. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to do a comparison on the stock versus this. I can already tell this is like made so much better, to be honest with you. So we'll get back to you uh, when I pull up and in a cooler go with. We have arrived. Sketch, super scary, but we got it. All right, cool. What's the next step? I'm basically going to take off these. I don't know if you guys can see them. These eight millimeter bolts, and I'm not going to take them all off. I'm just going to take off enough to be able to flex the pan down a bit. This right here is the intercooler. So we're gonna take off one Torx on one side and the Torx on the other side. And it should be ready to get, should be ready to go. So I'm gonna go grab the Torx, I definitely forgot that. This side, I already upgraded to, v to VRSF, so uh, there's no stupid retainer clip. So this side is off. Now this is the stock side. This is the turbo to intercooler. And this has the infamous black retaining clip on it. Let me set the light up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just push it down on the retaining clip. Yeah. 
There we go. cooler <sighs> here we are guys uh, the inner coolers out uh, took a lot and take much um, got annoyed these clips right here are very very annoying cooler OEM which uh, is a tube and fin design and you have a VRSF 5 inch uh, heavy duty street in a cooler which is a bar and plate design once again, shout out to Dream Chaser. Uh, now he has a 50 GT. It's beautiful. I seen it the other day. White, beautiful. Uh, before he had F32, and I picked this up off of him for this kind of price. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you a lot. The install commences now. Put this up in place. If you have friends, definitely call them because this will go a lot easier. One involved. Nobody likes me that much, so yeah. What's up guys, this is the next day in the cooler install down there in the grill. Come let's take a look at this. If you look in the bottom right here, you can see I mounted the VRSF in the cooler. Fitment is perfect. Um, I'll get back to you guys on the boost leaks. I don't know. It feels like it takes a little longer to, to build the boost. It punches a little harder, so I, I, I don't know. I gotta recheck that, I gotta vlog. But, um, everything looks good. Um, by the way, this is the updated VRSF intercooler with the more dense fin fins. I was doing some research last night and I looked and I noticed that the older ones, the fins weren't as dense. So if you guys do want to pick this up used, if you guys do want to pick this up used like I have, just make sure you get an updated model. Um, there were a little bit of complications too. I'll show you guys right here where the two uh, clips did not actually go up into the radiator, so I just bent them down, aluminum tabs, there's nothing wrong with that. It still bolts up, hoses fit, just the little aluminum tabs, uh, <clears throat> they did not fit. Uh, VRSF said that it was a, um, a manufacturing error or whatever the case is, and they, they've since updated that. Like I said, pick this up, pick this up for a discount. Um, go ahead and follow my boy Dream Chaser um, on Instagram. He has a white 5.0 now, GT Mustang, pretty nice. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it if we get up. Um, so, I don't know if you guys know this, one of the main reasons that I got this, I, I did this in a cooler was for heat soak, to manage heat soak and to get better airflow, better airflow, less heat soak, better airflow means consistent boost. All right, and if any of you guys know anything about life, consistency is key. It's pretty heavy getting it in there, so definitely like either use your arm and then screw or use one of your friends if they're available. Um, yeah, so after I had this in there, I was gonna paint it uh, like a black, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it that color. It gives me like a little tuner-ish vibe, and I'm going to remove these in the near future and get them painted gloss black along with the lip. I think that's gonna be the move for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna do all gloss black out here, and we're gonna do something with the headlights, so stay tuned for that one too. Your boy gonna do a, a DIY on his some something, something, something on his headlights. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna, gonna get a little funky, all right? Um, yeah, but that should be about it. Um, did anything else I need to talk to you guys about? I don't think so. Uh, about the inner cooler, mic from slow speed.